Okay, I wanted to go over a few things with puppy. Uh, there are three really critical things to do with a puppy and really any dog. The first is you want to build their confidence. You want them to have good experiences with all kinds of different sights, uh, colors, textures, surfaces. The more you can expose them in a positive way, the better they're going to be. And we do that with food. So you uh, get them around things that make noise or, or whatever, and you, you can just drop food around it and let them eat it. You can let them eat it out of your hand. But we, if, they, if they become nervous or anxious, we want to move away. So gradually get them closer and closer to whatever it is that's getting them uh, nervous or, or it doesn't have to be nervous, whatever's new. We just want them to be excited about seeing new things. So that's, that's number one. Number two is we want to build a relationship with us. So we want them to enjoy being with us. We want to have this connection. This is why we get dogs. We want to have that partner, that friend, that, that someone that we can connect with that uh, creature that we can connect with. And so we do that with food as well. So um, by you feeding the dog out of your hand, it creates this positive association that they just, even when you don't have food, they've been rewarded so many times, they just want to be with you. So for a puppy, what I typically always do is I get my pouch and I get my treats. So this is, uh, this is a fresh pet right here. It's like a sausage roll that we cut up. And I, every time I take a puppy out, I'm going to always make sure I have food with me. So like for her, what I'm doing is she's in her crate, and then she comes out, I let her go potty, and then I do a little training session with her so that she's getting trained multiple sessions throughout the day. And they're just very quick. Like these sessions are, you know, just a couple minutes, a quiet. She's getting a little excited because she sees me getting the food in the pouch, but I don't want her to make noise in the crate. So um, I do this so much with the food, feeding her, getting her uh, to come to me, that she just enjoys being with me. So that even if I don't have the food, she's had so many good experiences, she's like, hey, this is cool. I love being with you. That's what we want. We want to create that. And these first two things that we're talking about, the... Uh, you're creating this positive association, building this confidence. This is honestly the most part of, probably the most important part of a puppy, especially because the obedience and those things are all going to come, and they're not as important as these things. The uh, third thing is basically setting boundaries. So you want to start setting boundaries early. You want to do this with management and uh, helping them to have good structure. So dogs do well with structure. Puppies especially, they need a lot of sleep. Like a lot of people don't realize how much they sleep they need. So a crate is a great place for your puppy to experience the sight, sounds, color, or sight, sounds, uh, uh, smells of your home, your visitors, your guests, all of that from the safety of the crate. They're not gonna get anything, they're not gonna pick up bad habits. If they're making noise in the crate, like I just go tap the crate, tell them no, quiet. So obviously we've done that with her. So she is really good in the crate. She's uh, been exposed to a lot of, I'm remodeling my house. So I've had her up there with me. So I've got air guns, uh, nail guns, uh, hammers, saws, all kinds of things going off right. And I, I just bring her with me. Like what room I'm in, I bring her with me. So that she is, so one, I'm getting the opportunity to let her know that, hey, I need you to be quiet, but also she's getting that exposure to all of those sounds and uh, different, uh, everything, smells, sounds, everything. And so that's a great way to kind of manage them and help them to have the exposure that you want them to have. She can't go chew on things, she can't have, I mean, she could have accidents in there, but she's great in the crate. You know, she's probably had a couple of them, and it's been my fault. Like, I, I fed her, and then I didn't get her out soon enough. But, you know, overall, she does great in the crate. And so part of that management is helping me to help her with the housebreaking. And that's with me figuring out her schedule. When does she need to go out? When does she eat, drink, all of these things? So with her, she is currently, she's in the crate for about three hours, comes out and goes potty. And then we do a little session, a training session, and then I let her run around and play and uh, get some energy out. 
then we come back inside, and then she goes back in the crate, and I go back to work or whatever, whatever it is that I'm doing. And then at night, she goes out, I cut off food and water about six o'clock. She goes out at 10 o'clock, and, or, yeah, goes out at 10 o'clock, goes in the crate, and then goes out again at about six in the morning. And uh, so that's kind of where she's at. And then I just want to gradually expand that. She's ready that she could actually start spending some time in an exercise pen or in like a little fenced off area. So after she's gone potty, you've seen her go potty, she can go into an uh, area that has a hard surface that she could uh, spend some time there as well. And even there, you want to let her know the, the rules. If she's putting her paws up, you just go up and tap the exercise pen, no, and let her know that, hey, I don't want you to climb up on it. So that's kind of what, uh, and we're looking for these types of uh, behavioral, uh, working with them, like building this very stable, confident dog with a good relationship with us. That's the most important part of puppy training. When, I, when a puppy goes home and we show the family what to do, what I want to see at six months is a puppy, that, a puppy that's very confident. It's like exploring and it's like pulling on the leash because it hasn't been trained leash pressure yet, but it's excited to go see everything and see people and it's wanting to jump up on you know, the table to check things out. Like it's annoying, at, you know, and that's why we do the adult training at six months, but that's what I want to see. I want them to be very confident and excited to go explore. That really helps with the training because then they're in that mindset that, oh, this is cool. What do I get to do to you know, get the treats? And so then they're eager to try to figure it out. So that's what we're looking for. The obedience we do with a puppy this young is just repetitions with food to build that muscle memory so that later on it's much easier to pick up on, uh, to learn the obedience side of it. So you'll see when I pull her out, that we're gonna run through some of those uh, little uh, obedience things that we're doing. Let me grab a bag. But, um, and even if, uh, even if an owner doesn't do the actual obedience, that's honestly totally fine with me. Like just do the food work, the confidence building, the socialization, environmental work, all of these things. And socialization, what I mean is you're doing food work, but you're not letting the dog meet any other dogs or other people. You're feeding it food, walking backwards, and it is ignoring everything else. You do that for a couple minutes, take them to a few new places every week, do that food work, drop food on different things, let them explore, and so that they're gonna, they're gonna build confidence to feel safe to explore the world, but they're gonna focus on you, and that's what we want. So we want them to be socialized, but not social. You can see that she's like, chilling, like when she stays there, she'll just like chill. She might whimper a little bit when I put her in, I tell her quiet, and then she'll lay down and like go to sleep. And that's what we want. We want them to love their crate, to feel very safe, and to enjoy being in them. So I'm gonna bring her out. We'll do a real quick session and I'll, you'll see some of the behaviors that we want her to do. If she, when she comes out, she'll get excited, wanna jump up, I'm gonna like uh -uh, bump her off and tell her no and uh, she only gets the food when she's doing what I want her to do. So that's another tip is that, remember that every time you touch or praise or give affection to your dog, you are rewarding them for what they're doing. So make sure you're communicating clearly and reinforcing those behaviors that you want to continue, not anything that you want to stop. So that's one thing that we unintentionally do is reward those behaviors that we don't want them to do, so. All right. Come on, puppy, puppy! You ready? Good girl! Good girl! So she's exploring, see where the treats are. <laughs> hey, puppy, puppy! Good! Come here, sit! Ah. Good! So you saw I waited until she was in the sit position. Good! Good. Down. Good. So right now I'm helping her. I'm still luring her with food, but I'm giving her the commands because she does it every time. So I am saying the commands. Good. Yes. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. The other thing I'll do is I'll do a lot of feeding on the bed because I also want them to enjoy 
being on the bed. And you can, to keep the crate a positive thing and not that you're always just, oh, we just put you away, you can also take some food. Get ready. Just throw some in there. Let them get it. Good girl. Good. Good. Okay, pop, 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 pop. Very nice. Down. Good. Good. Yes. Okay, oh, yes. Good. All right, so some of the other things that we'll do is I want her to be comfortable in the heel position, which is, uh, uh, no, which is over here. So we'll get her comfortable here. We'll get her sitting. So we do a lot of feeding here so that she is very used to this. And then you can even walk with her. Good. And this just gets her comfortable with the healing, which is what she's gonna do later on when she does the leash pressure. And so I'll even have her come into a sit when we stop because that's what we're gonna do later. Like I said, these things, this is just kind of familiarization and building the muscle memory so that later on it becomes very easy to do this. Yes, good girl, very nice. Good. Sit. Uh-uh. Come here. Sit. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Good. 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 Nope. Yes. Good. Down. Good. And when I put them in the down and the sit, good. I want to feed them very quickly. Yes, and I'm just gonna say good and feed them very quickly so that they uh, get the idea that, uh, 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 they get the idea that, oh, if I stay down or in the sit, I'm gonna be rewarded for being there. And then when we're done, you just say, okay, we're done. And then you can put her back in the crate. And uh, I just throw some food in. Good job, just close the crate and we're done. So very fun puppy, doing a great job. Uh, but just remember the key things with your dog is uh, that building that confidence, the uh, building the relationship with you, and then that structure. So the uh, managing them and preventing them from picking up those bad habits that we don't want them to have. So, all right, thank you.